Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to theCUBE. Lisa Martin and Dustin Kirkland here live. Day three of theCUBE's continuous coverage of Google Cloud Next. Dustin and I are pleased to welcome Splunk back to theCUBE. Gretchen O'Hare is here, the VP, President, Vice President, rather, Worldwide Partners and Alliances at Splunk. Gretchen, great to have you on the program. Thank you so much, I'm so thrilled to be here. So we've been covering Splunk for a long time. Talk about what's going on and the key value that Splunk is delivering to its customers, and then we'll kind of dig into the partnership. Absolutely. Well, I I think first and foremost, what you're seeing now today is we are living in a digital world. And in that digital world, we have to think about how do we build digital resilience within our enterprises today. That's something that is not only at every individual level, it's a boardroom discussion, quite frankly. And so when you think about digital resilience, how do you make sure that you have your SecOps, DevOps, IT engineering, really shoring up to make sure that your business and processes are well secured? And that's really what Splunk is about. It's pretty exciting to see the momentum, essentially, that is becoming at the forefront of uh, what is needed for business. Right, and the collaboration between those groups that you mentioned is also critical. How is Splunk a facilitator of that, of getting these groups to, to not just come together and talk, but actually work together to be successful and deliver secure solutions? It's such a great, great question because in the past, those have been somewhat siloed organizations, um, whether it is an organization that is looking at rolling out the next application or really quite managing your uh, SOC environment. And now, for the first time, I think we're seeing the blend or blur, essentially, of these organizations coming together because we have to secure the entire enterprise. And that means not going back and forth between what is a security breach and what actually might be within the application, but a unified way to do security and observability. And I think you're going to see more and more of that. That's where Splunk comes in, really bringing that end-to-end -end opportunity and solution with best of breed knowledge in security and observability to our customers. Yeah, yeah in terms of verticals that maybe are well suited to Splunk and its solution set, uh, it, can you share with us just a little bit of where that focus is right now? Absolutely. I think verticals is one area where Splunk continues to go deeper, and this is where Google Cloud and Splunk really come together, because Google is so deep in certain industries, and Splunk also is right along there, in particular, to financial services and in retail. So when you think about financial services, you think about things like uh, fraud, uh, compliance, risk, big areas, again, for the business, where when we come together, with Google Cloud and with Splunk, we certainly can deliver on financial services. And of course, retail. Retail is a big area of focus for both of us, and so we're working together to bring a set of white papers and um, basically guidance on how to build a more resilient store. And that can be a physical to a digital world. Um, case in point, we have a great customer together that is a uh, large uh, fast food chain, um, and really leveraging the power of AI and our Splunk observability on Google Cloud to be able to bring more innovation into our, the mobile ordering, digital menus, and just quite frankly, a better experience around digital transformation for the customers and the operations. Yeah, that's what the customers want. Absolutely. And how much of that is reusable? I, I've got to think, you know, you, you've got one excellent customer use case, uh, but is that something that you're able to roll out and stamp out very efficiently? If you think about making sure that you're bringing the best experience to your customers and also securing what that you know um, environment looks like, absolutely. You can think about any retailer in any store, both on-prem in a physical location and digital, those worlds are blending. So not only is this use case great for the customer we have, but we have the opportunity to really service that together across that whole retail industry. Share with us, here we are at Google Cloud Next Day 3, lots of Lots of people, 20,000 folks or so. Lots Amazing. of great, great the, the Google Cloud ecosystem, obviously Splunk is a big part of that. It's Vibrant. Huge. Talk about some of uh, the importance of the Google relationship, Google Cloud relationship with Splunk, and what are some of the things that you're going to be doing together in 2023 and as we go into 2024, which is not too far away? It really isn't. Well, I think first of all, thank you for having us back. We have formalized our partnership and have been three years strong on really building a strong partnership, both on the innovation front 
fun and also on our go to market and we're not stopping we have a lot more to do um, and the thing that I think is really valuable for our customers is that our engineering teams have really come together to look at hey how do we deliver the best experience on Google Cloud but one step further what is going to be the next thing that is going to you know sort of lead us there and so of course you can't escape the topic of AI and that's the topic of course here uh, at the conference and that's one of the areas that we're continuing to look at which is how do we continue to build the best AI uh, experience for our customers. What does that look like? What do you think that looks like? I know it will vary by industry, but... It'll vary by industry, and I think, you know, first and foremost, it's going to be, how do you start to take some, how does automation and that AI sort of take some of the work out of the guessing when you're looking at securing out your infrastructure, and you're looking at some of the, you know, monitoring that we're doing today. Moving forward, though, I think it's important that not only can we look at some of the innovation that uh, Google Cloud has announced, certainly at the conference, but every customer is talking about AI in some way. Gen AI is the topic that you know essentially is inescapable. So one, we have to make sure that we're building and have announced Splunk for AI, um, that we're building sort of that best capability, but realize that there's still going to be a human factor involved. And I think that's a really good, important fact for customers as they understand what is going to be their AI strategy and how do they take the best of breed Splunk uh, in, into that moving forward. So I think that'll be like the big piece, which is you know, both the intelligence and the automation and the learning from the models that we're creating, but at the same time, making sure we don't ever remove the human element so that we can make sure that we're building that digital resilience. And in terms of customer demand, what are those customers demanding out of AI and that human element you know, from, from Splunk, uh, Splunk's solutions? Yeah, I mean, I think just at the very top level, um, every customer is trying to look at what is their AI strategy, what can they get from it? And I think we're going to learn more, quite frankly, as we continue to, to move forward and those um, Gen AI models continue to evolve. But essentially, what they want to be able to do is reduce their costs, save some time, essentially, and actually have smarter and more insightful decision making um, from the Splunk uh, solution. And so that is really what we're, we're focused on. That's really what, what everyone is expecting. You talk about customer demand. All of us as customers, consumers, in our business lives, in our daily lives, we expect to have this real-time experience. We expect to have what we're looking for, whether it's going to um, a fast food retailer. We want uh, the experience that's, that's catered to us. We want yeah. it to be relevant, it needs to be personal. Same thing whether I'm on a, a large e-commerce site and I'm shopping for something, I have this expectation. I can get whatever I want tomorrow. So leveraging AI to help fuel that is something I think needs more awareness because there's a lot of fear out there. At yes. the same time, there's a lot of value. And to both of your points, it's AI plus humans going forward. And I think that's the I think that's the meta point of all of that, right? Which is there's just been a lot of discussion around it. But with that discussion is fear. It's responsible and ethical AI. How do we think about the models of the future? And when you're securing and building out digital resiliency in your enterprise, leaving that to a complete unknown can be a definitely scary thing. I think there's fear around that. So it's really important not only that we build in that human component, but that we also are looking very closely at the responsible and ethical AI component of it so that we're building the best experience and it can be used you know, across the enterprise. Um, and one of the things specifically to that point is that Splunk uh, you know, manages most of the Fortune 500. We have some of the largest logos in the world. And so we have to take our responsibility very seriously on what that AI model is going to deliver and we're definitely doing that. So, uh, Gretchen, I'll bring us back to you know Google Cloud here. Uh, can you say you know just a little bit more about the relationship with yeah. uh, with Google Cloud? So, um, like I said, uh, basically we're continuing to build out our capabilities on Google Cloud. Um, we have a very strong observability solution uh, that helps with our uh, ability for uh, application web dev uh, uh, DevOps. We're continuing to expand on our security as well. Um, and so the important thing is it's our engine engineering is coming together, our field and sales are coming together so that we can delight the customers because at the end of the day, as you mentioned, it's all about what the customers need and what they're asking for and we're here to deliver and being partners with Google and Google Cloud helps us uh, realize that value. And how are customers influential in that partnership? How have you worked with certain key logos to help really 
define, refine, and mature the partnership? They are, this is where that trifecta of the customer, uh, Google Cloud, and Splunk all come together because our customers, our mutual customers that are all across the globe, Fortune 500 together, are giving us very precise things that they want to see and that they want to need the need on their roadmap. And we're taking and we're listening and we're taking that to heart and working with the partnership to deliver upon those um, capabilities. Any fun stories, feedback that you've heard from the conference so far in the three days we've been here? I just think the 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 big, you know, fun or you know, most amazing thing is just what is everyone doing with AI? And you hear about all the models, the new models that was announced with Vertex AI, just lots of opportunity, I think, and now it's, you know, how do we make sure that we're very thoughtful um, on, on how we do it? But it is pretty funny because you can talk to your parents all the way to a high school student and everybody is talking about Gen AI. It is definitely the top talk of the town. It is, it, but there's so much, I think there's so much fear out there in the mass media. I think a lot of us in technology have responsibilities to help raise the education and awareness for all of the good things that have been going on with AI for a while. It's not new, but we're seeing it. We talked about this in our wrap on Monday. Yep. Why now? I think you're making an excellent point. AI is not new. In fact, AI has been an ongoing you know, piece of work that we've been working on for a very long time. In fact, Splunk has been one of the originators of using AI and our predictive analytics from the very beginning. So we're certainly not new to AI. Google is certainly not new to AI. To your point, it's getting a lot of coverage, a lot of interesting new use cases. We just have to come together as a tech industry and make sure that we have a good, strong point of view on making sure that we are building that responsible AI out for our customers. Yeah, definitely. What are some of the things that we can be looking out for in terms of Splunk's future direction, the partnership, anything exciting in particular that we should be focusing on? Well, I think you mentioned industry, and I think that is where we can continue to bring very interesting and relevant use cases to the industry. And while Splunk has a trifecta essentially with the uh, you know top magic quadrant with Gardner, Forrester, IDC, both in our sim and observability, I think more importantly, it's like how do we take the horizontal solutions of which we bring and really drive relevant use cases and uh, industry specific business outcomes. And that's what we're focusing on together as a partnership and we're going to continue to deliver there. And the industries, we talked about retail, any industries in particular that are, are early adopters are really in need of this technology? Well, I think for uh, beyond retail, certainly financial services is just at the top of that list. One that um, Google Cloud has been on top of for a very long time as well as Splunk. But when you think about all of the use cases around the financial services and you introduce this AI model into the financial services area, it becomes really important more than ever for us to really deliver on what is the next set of roadmap for that particular And, and you're seeing that as a driver for new adjacent verticals that, that you can you can approach. Absolutely. You know, you start with that, you go into things like, you know, obviously banking, insurance, all part of the financial services market. Gaming, but you can I think go into you mentioned. You can go into the, the gaming side as yeah. well, um, and as well as areas like healthcare. So lots of opportunity, uh, certainly no lack of um, industry, but the point really is really focusing on the use cases, on the industries that we can deliver the most value and make sure that we're delivering on um, what the customer is wanting. It's all about delivering on customer values, business outcomes. Last question, yeah. Gretchen, how would you summarize Google Cloud Next 23? 20,000 people, AI is the word of the day, but what are, what are your kind of summarizations of what you've seen? I think my summary is innovation. I think it's a year of innovation. It's really exciting to see the announcements come out. It's really exciting to see the physical presence and people coming back together, quite frankly. The opportunity for incredible business conversations and partnership uh, conversations. And so I would just summarize is, is innovation, a thriving ecosystem that you're certainly seeing here at theCUBE, and an opportunity really to help secure a digital resilience world with our customers. Excellent, and yeah. Splunk is certainly a key partner in that thriving ecosystem. Gretchen, we thank you so much for joining us on theCUBE, giving us the lowdown of what's new with Splunk, Google, and Google Cloud Platform. We'll keep our eyes in the space. Thank you so much. I really pleasure enjoyed for having it. You. For our guests and for Dustin Kirkland, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live. Day three of our coverage of Google Cloud Next 23 continues in just a minute.